All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing day. It's Brandon with Car Fleet here. And in this video, we're gonna be replacing my, my stock CV axle in my Dodge Ram for a heavy duty, more travel one. So let's take a look at it, guys. All righty, so here's the box. It came in two, three days, three days? Yeah, it came three days from Rock Auto. 146 bucks Canadian before shipping. Came to around 170 for one side. So I'll play the clip, guys. Check this clip out. This is when I broke it. Okay, no, 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 now turn. Turn, 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 turn. Driver, driver. Ooh, something broke. Yeah, so I snapped the CV completely. So that wasn't a heavy duty one. And if it was, it was a Cardone one. They're like 90 bucks, so the cheaper end. I don't think it was a heavy duty one. My other side is a heavy duty one, my passenger side. So we'll see how long that one lasts. But I was just like, you know what? If that's gonna be the weakest point, let's see if we can get them a little bit tougher. This one seems to be one with more travel. So let's jump into it and see how it looks. Now, is it just me or is this the best part about those things? I love these magnets. It, I'm like always thinking, it's like a freaking Happy Meal. I've got too many of these though. Let's say you're not even spending too much money. All right, so here it is, track motive. I believe it doesn't look like this. I believe, I believe it has a thicker spot because it actually moves. So that means when you flex, it can be longer. And when you're back, it's shorter. So let's open her up even further. All right, so a nice box, nice bag inside. All righty, so here it is. Like I said, the one with more travel. So this is so thick because it needs room to uh, move. Yeah, this thing looks freaking beefy. It's got super hard boots on it. From first impressions, I'm really happy with it. So which part broke on mine? It would have been back here. So this is the part that broke on mine. The Cardone one, a little bit different. The Cardone one's a lot more here. Like it's like kind of like that, less boot, more metal. Not sure if that, what the difference is, but yeah, it looks really nice. I'm super happy to get this on and have four wheel drive again. And yeah, guys, the only thing left to do is to throw it on the truck. Uh, link will be in the description. I'm not sponsored. I'm also gonna be making a review video down the road. I don't know how this will hold up. I'm hoping it'll be really good and I'm super excited for it. So let's throw it on the truck, guys. Alrighty, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off the wheel, obviously, as you'd imagine. So it's the 22, because they got these chrome sleeves. I always use a 22. heavy we got to get this oh please <laughs> there's more damage it's sitting here on my truck for a week it's been over a week since this happened you got the rubber piece just hanging out there um here we got grease everywhere definitely got to clean it up all right here's the damage up and close here you can see it completely destroyed obviously grease everywhere there's grease on my hands, it's slippery. <laughs> yeah, so greased out, that little rubber piece was sitting there. You kind of see the outline of where it was. And yeah, let's get this one out. Alrighty guys, so this is the method I usually use. I've done two of these now. This will be the second time doing it. First time I did this method. So what this does, you get a ratchet strap. It puts some tension on it to pull it out. Now, once you got the tension on it, it's a little loose right now. Should I tighten it a bit? Then once you pry it, it'll have some of that force actually pulling it out rather than you just trying to bump it out. So let's see if this works. All right, you guys can see it there. So I'm gonna tighten it up. This is not my creation. I've used it though and it worked. So get it a little snug. And then we slide in with a pry bar. Now it's got the force that should help it come out. So I'm trying to get like a good spot on this one is not easy to get. There's not much left of it. it seems to be a little brat right now take some tension off it for a sec all right guys so actually i went back and watched my own video over again um and what i did was i hit it with a hammer i didn't i ratchet strapped it then used the hammer so i'm gonna try that right now i'm gonna have to get right under there on the other side there crawl right through 
but yeah, I didn't just pry it. You have to get it pop, right? It's it's clicked in. So when you hit it and it pops it loose, that's kind of the go-to. So let's crank our ratchet again. Okay, she's cranked. And now at this point, you bop it. Okay, I don't want to get wet, but I think we're gonna have to at some point. Start bopping the thing. Oh, the other side would have been way easier. trick would work you just got to get the good tension and bopper there we go boys and girls there it is nice so you can see there's a little snap ring in there right so that's that snap ring there that's what's gonna not let it come out unless you bop it there it is completely destroyed Alrighty, let's go check out the new one. We're gonna clean it up a bit too. So that's a good method, guys. If you need to, if you need some help, that's a good method. Super simple. Alrighty, guys. So I got it cleaned up. Now we're gonna dive into making room for it to fit. So what I mean by that is. Gotta bust off the tie rod. We're gonna bonk it a little bit. There you go. Just pops right out. Okay, so let's get the new one, guys. This is where we slide it in, hopefully. All right, so looking at our CV there and looking at this one, this needs to come off. This isn't supposed to come out. This is supposed to be in the truck. It's supposed to disconnect there. So I gotta go, I'm gonna go to the garage and disconnect this. So I'm in the garage here. Uh, so this is a cap that's on top. So if you pop this cap off, I'm just gonna put a little, uh, spray it with penetrating fluid, let it soak in there. And you can see we need this piece. This will keep, this is fine. It's good to use. This will go right back into the truck with that but this is completely garbage so we got to save this piece i need to drive to work soon so i'm really hoping i don't break this if i am i'm screwed so i'm gonna try tapping it out super lightly and gentle tap that piece right out and then garbage and we'll get back to it all right so basically i could not get this thing out to save my freaking life doing it normal ways so i ended up cutting it right down there and you can see how rusty that is. It's brutal. This is the O-ring holding it in. I ended up cutting that in half. So basically now I can't do it before I go to work. So, alrighty, so I need to get those snap rings. It's gonna sit like this, all sad in the driveway for the whole world to see. <laughs> all sad, sad Ram hours right now. Pick back up when we get the part. Alrighty guys, so day number two, installing the CV axle. I ran out of time yesterday. Uh, I had to work around work and I just couldn't do it. So I ended up getting the new part. Now I'll show you guys what I did. All right, so this is the new one. It's got the, the clips in it already. Got the new O-ring and here's the old one. You can see it's scored. Also, I cut it. So like, I was like, I might as well get the new thing. I was just gonna get clips but I couldn't find just clips. So I was like, what, 50 bucks for this? So I was like, okay, whatever. Also it's black guys, so it looks really cool when you can't see it. So yeah, we're gonna throw it in right now. Let's get to work. I need to finish this before I go to work. Alrighty, so I just got this jammed back into the CV axle. Apparently that's the easiest way to do it is put it in here first and then jam it all into the truck at once. So we're gonna take it right now. It's all sealed. You can see the O-rings in there mint. We're gonna drive it right in. All you do is you give it a few pushes right into the the diff and you should feel it click in and see it go right to the back there. Just, you gotta get past that clip that's super annoying. But once you do, then you just bolt everything back up like we disassembled it. And I'll show you guys once I'm done. Unfortunately, I have no time, so I need to finish this. I can't really record it. Alrighty guys, super quick back together. Like it should have been taking it off as well. So you can see it's butted right to the back there. 
and we got it bolted down. You're gonna need a 36 mil for that big boy. So make sure you got that before you start this. But that's the HD track motive. So that big part there is gives it the room to extend and stuff. So I'm curious to see how it'll hold up. I got 37s, so hopefully this was the right choice. Alrighty, the beast is back on the road. Completely finished the new CV. Tie rods are in, uppers in. I actually, to give you guys some tips here, I I was able to get it in. So this was off and this was off up here. And my brake cable is super tight, but I actually was able to jam it down into the hole. I was trying to remove the bottom ball joint bolt. I couldn't get it off the knuckle. So I just used my force and just forced it right in there. So, and it seems mint guys, I'm super excited. Hopefully these hold up. As you guys know, I got the Cardone heavy duty one on that side and I got the track motive more travel one on this side. So it's kind of like a little comparison, see which one lasts longer. But that's gonna do it guys. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the end there. I'm just super in a time pinch right now. Had to get this done or else I'm taking the old Mazda. You know, I can't be seeing that thing. Come on, truck guy, okay? Yeah, super excited guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys check out the Ram DIY videos. I just did the Hemi tick. So there's brand new bolts in there. Crazy wheeling video if you wanna see how the thing broke. It was an unreal trip. At the exact same time it broke, I got a dent on my door. <laughs> so crazy trip, guys. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.